And hello, everybody. We're the Spiffy Needle Geeks. Alright, look. Let's go back to a time when things were m more innocent back then, but still relatively violent. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Supersonic 407, or Smokey's Up Toad, whichever one you prefer, Brawlfin 1, and Ralph Shoots You Rises. And in honor of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate coming out relatively soon as of this recording, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the original Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo 64. This is where it started all, folks. I feel like an eight-year-old again. <laughs> <laughs> yep. No, back when we had eight characters to start with. Before, before, yeah, we, decided I mean, that's, to, before that's, we decided to, like, multiply everything. Well, I mean, to be fair, we're going to have eight characters to start with this time around, too. <laughs> yeah, really. It's like, you want to get a really good sense of nostalgia. It's like, start off with uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate with the exact same eight characters you would start off in this game. Oh, but man, it's like, funny enough, it's like, I got into Super Smash Bros. more so like the first one. Like, not just because it was like, oh my god, look at all these Nintendo characters fighting against each other, that is awesome. No, it was because it's like, this was back in the, this, this was like back when I was, you know, having a major, like, a bias with my Pokemon and how I freaking loved it. So I see Pikachu on the cover, like, fighting off with Mario, I'm just like, okay, I, I, am, I am so gay in this game. I don't even, I don't even remember how I got it, how I first got Smash Bros. I, I remember at first it was a blockbuster re rental. That's it, though. Yeah, I think that I think that's how it was with most people. It was like, you know, we rented it at first because we're like, oh, what is this? And then we fell in love and bought it. Right. Well, well, it's like, I remember like Pokemon being like a like my love for Pokemon started off as a blockbuster rental, and then I remembered I think it was like um uh, J C Penney's or somewhere like they were playing they were showing off like some kind of like a playable demo or something for uh, Super Smash Brothers, and I was playing with some other random kid, and I was having a blast playing it as it, so it was like the one thing I would ask my dad, like, constantly, like, like, please get me Super Smash Brothers for Christmas, Dad! I even had to, like, like, cut out, like, a picture of, like, the Super Smash Brothers cover, and I had to, like, tape it or glue it onto my Christmas list. Oh, I did, all the I, other I did that shit, too. Are you serious? Yeah, because I, I, I never trusted my parents enough to actually know what I was talking about, so I'd have to, like, print out or cut out a picture of what I want and give that to them. <laughs> I did it because it, I did it because it was really fun to do. Like, I would get a Christmas list, and I would have, I would make my usual Christmas list or whatever, but to add more aesthetic to it, I'm just, and to, add, to, to have, just have fun with it, I, like, as I'm going through all these magazines and such, yeah, I would cut out and tape literally, e like, as much as I could, and cover my Christmas list with it. Yeah. <laughs> now, see, now, see, I, see, I didn't do that. I, I, I instead, I fucked with my parents' screensavers. What? So, <laughs> yeah, so, like, yeah, like, you know, what I would do in Christmas time, and I know, I remember, because I did this with, uh, Nights in the Dreams when that came out, and I really wanted Nights in the Dreams for Christmas. I, you know, yeah, it was like, my dad had, like, a screensaver on his computer. I changed it to just say, you know, get me nights in the dreams for Christmas. Like, that's, that's actually really cool. Yeah, that's what <laughs> yeah, I would do. Yeah, I would really. fuck with my parents' technology, to, you know, that, I mean, I still gave them the Christmas gift, but it's like, yeah, I didn't try and print out pictures or anything. I just fucked with their screensavers. Huh. Oh, man, that, that is, that yeah, is genius, yet yeah, sort of evil at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Ness, you, Ness, you know, you end up, like, a putting your, like, a Chris, Christmas, like, a wishes, like, you tape them up onto, like, the front door, like, in their, in their bedrooms, or, like, put it up, like, in a kitchen refrigerator. You have the entire house covered in what you want for Christmas. <laughs> That's, I have so many fond memories of this game. Like, I remember, remember, I remember this game being all the rage, and you know, back at, back at elementary school, us talking about all, like, you know, like all, all the cool stuff, what our favorite characters were, all the secret characters. Ness, I know, fucked with me for a long time because I remember um, one of my best friends in elementary school, he told me about how there was, you know, because I only unlocked, I think at that time, three, like Jigglypuff, Luigi, and Captain Falcon. I never got Ness yet. But I didn't. I didn't. I still didn't know who this, who this last character was. Obviously, because you know we didn't have internet. We didn't use internet that back then. 
Um, oh yeah. But like, I remember you know, my, my best friend. You know, he told me he got the character, but he 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 can never remember the kid. He can never remember his name. He only told me it's just a kid. It's a kid. So, um. So like, for the longest time, I would uh, like I would like. This was back when I, I you know was when I was much more of a doodler for, in school. Like, I would try drawing, like, you know, all the characters, but then just draw a random child there as well, thinking, you know, not even knowing what he looks like. And then he finally gets here, and suddenly he's, like, spewing fire and lightning and shit, and I was like, you didn't tell me he was cool! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, I miss, I, I miss break the targets. Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh man, uh, break, break the targets, man. My God! Yeah, break, it's the like, break the talk is, is, is one of the things that slowly declined over the years. Like they were awesome in this game; they were even better in Melee. In Brawl, they got in Brawl. Like since there were so many characters, they kind of just used the same five stages and you, where you can use any character with them. Smash Four went fucking Angry Birds, and now I think I don't even I don't even think Ultimate has them anymore. So like. Oh. Either, either that, either that, or I'm kind of worried that like they they will have these same modes or, or or whatever, but it'll still be like a massive downgrade compared to how it has been in this game in melee. That makes sense. But but yeah, if you ever wanted to figure out exactly you know how like a break the targets and all these other modes came to be, yep, uh, just like like I said, this is the game that started it, so you're gonna be seeing all you'll be seeing those here. So I guess, also, so I guess, I also, um, I guess that being said, as far as um, this original game, who were your mains? Well, um, like I, I, I figure, I, I, I figure with you, Ryan, it's probably Pikachu because you're playing Pikachu. Yeah, yeah. On honestly, oh man, I don't even know if I even had any other mains really, because it's like I bought this game only to play as Pikachu. And like I think like ninety nine no not ninety nine like like ninety percent of the time I would play nothing but Pikachu. I mean, honestly, I think if um oh man, if memory serves, I think the other characters I would other play as like like the like way more like a lot like as like no, I mean nothing compared to Pikachu but like like characters like before Pikachu I think it'd be either Fox or Samus I think mostly Samus. Okay. I think I tended to gravitate to the towards the characters that I actually knew. So yeah, Pikachu, Kirby, and then I think Yoshi were like the big ones that I played as. But I think I think just back then in general, for the most part, I I really did I really didn't have a major preference. I kind of did just play as every everybody because oh my god, I can oh. like I had so many options. How how <laughs> how young and naive was was I? Yeah, yeah, we had no idea how far it was gonna go after this game. <laughs> It only just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Like DK I here. Say, I, was, I would say even bigger than this giant Donkey Kong. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I think, like, oh, oh God, because it's been a while. Like, I know I played a lot of Link. I think I played Pikachu. I th think maybe Kirby. It's been a really long time. <laughs> I mean, I was a little kid, so that's where I was like, and, I, and it's like, not like I was any good or anything. Right. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. I mean, I mean, it's like I have my fair share of like trying all the rest of the characters as well. But oh god, watch out! Wait. Oh, <laughs> sure that works. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that happened. And, and that, my and, and that, my dear friends and dear viewers, is the definition of Smash Bros. as a whole. <laughs> <laughs> that one little instant right there. I remember board the platforms. I miss this. God. It's like, it's like, thankfully, they have their own, it, like, granted, they have their own interpretation of board the platforms. Like, I guess, like, technically, if you were to say, I think, wait, oh, wait, no, I, I might be, no, I, I think of something else, actually. I might be thinking of, like, a different mode, like, in Melee. Yeah, but... no, no, like, board the platforms is only in this game. Like, yeah, I think that's in Melee, I, like, I do it, it, not remember this showing up anywhere else. Yeah, and in, yeah. in, in Melee, they replaced it with uh, Race to the Finish, I believe. Y yeah, you're, you're right, you're absolutely right. Uh, but yeah, oh man, it was, yeah, even board the platform was, was like a really interesting mode to play. Oh god, I, I, I was, I was about to say something else, but it's like... Apocalypse oh, ensues, more than one Kirby. Oh god. Oh, that, oh, okay, I remember, I remember now. 
yeah, it was like, um, I did have my fair share of trying out the other characters as well. But it's like, I think it was like, in regards to Pikachu, it's like, I played as him, not just be, I think it was like, yeah, it was, it started out as because it's like, oh my god, I love Pokemon, I love Pikachu, oh my god, he's so freaking cool. But for the most part, I think it's because he's like, unlike the other, like, um, characters, or like their fighting styles or whatever, K Pikachu's, like, uh, the way he moves, the way he attacks, whatever, it felt, it felt really comfortable for me, like, compared to the others. Well, apparently it, it, it felt comfortable for a lot of people because Pikachu's guide gear in this game. Wait, what? Yeah, like, uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not much for talking about tears myself, but Pikachu is considered the best character in this game. Really? Yeah. Oh, that I had no idea Like, about. in this game, think... Pikachu is, a, is, like, the fox of Melee. The fuck? Yeah. <laughs> God damn. I just like. I mean, I didn't. It's like I didn't even realize tears were like like necessarily like a thing in in, in this game in particular. They, they are now. Yeah. They are nowadays, obviously, since you know, since since there's more competitive. Like back then, obviously, no one fucking cared. But like nowadays, when people when that when you know when people when there are people that only think that only care about winning and they only want to play as the best characters that they find are the best. Yeah, there, there are people that are gonna make those lists and. The general uh, consensus is that Pikachu is the best. Goddamn. Jeez. Wow, Tango there. T <laughs> right. Well. <laughs> I, okay, I, I'm fairly certain it's just something with this game, but it's like the way that they just like just fly off of the stage like within like not even like a second. It's like the funniest thing. I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, it's like usually it's like and I'm sure you guys have seen it too. It's like. The only times you would ever see, like, this game in action anymore is if you go to, like, arcade bars. Or, or like, or like other little, like, um, like, uh, get-together areas like that. Right. Where it's, like, they have, like, a Nintendo 64, like, all hooked up and stuff, and you can play, like, a freaking... Yeah, you can play this game, or, like, say, freaking, I don't know, like, Pokemon Stadium, or Mario Kart, you know, all, all those classics. Yeah. Never have I seen this game done, like, competitively. Ah, <sighs> Metal Mario. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hate. Well, I also really... It's like, however... Yeah, it's like, however, with Metal Mario, I also... I, well, I really like the... Ow, 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 ow. Okay, anyway. It's like, I really like the attention to detail. It's like... It's like, seeing as how you're dealing with, like, a person, like, completely engulfed in metal, it's like, they even add, like, the attention to detail, where it's like, every time Mario walks as such, they even have, like, the big, loud, clunking, like, metal sound effect. Yeah. It's like, on it's like honestly, even though it's something that's, like, it's really simple, it's like Metal Mario or something, at the time, he was still, like, a very interesting, like, a very, a kind of intimidating character. Yeah, even though he's really easy to beat on all technicality, like... Yeah, like, back then when you were a kid, that, that shit was scary. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was. Oh, that's right, Race, Race to the Finish was in this game, too, I forgot. Yeah, 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 Race to the Finish is the last uh, mini game you have to go through. Yeah. Or as I have to call it, fuck everything, just get to the finish. Yeah, like... Do not I, waste your time fighting these enemies. Pretty much. Like I, I only ever remember um, Melee's version, version of this, where it's not really a Race to the Finish per se, it's more so a race to see how far you can get. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. I think there was an end to it, but like, it was like really hard to get to, obviously. Oh, 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 yeah, you're right. Th there is like a definitive end to it, but you just had to get there, like you know, before the time limit was done. Oh boy, I miss the. I do miss the fighting polygon team too. The, the, well, there's a certain well, charm. Well, this became the uh, me team, right? Yeah, because like yeah, the, the me like, team, like, the, the, the polygon melee. team, I always found like the most like the most like uh, I I really like them like because like the the wireframe characters obviously they, there there weren't as many of them and they were they were they were kind of boring. The um, yeah. uh, brawl had some kind of like weird like alloy thing going on, which yeah, was fine. Yeah. I, I think that was better than the wireframe dudes, but like still wasn't as cool as this. And then Smash Four just went, yeah, let's just play some with me's. It's like okay, yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, it was really interesting because it's like you would think that it's like okay with all these like polygon characters, it's like oh wait these aren't just like some made up polygon characters. This is actually like the the raw models that they use for all these characters, and you get to fight them in this form. Yeah. Plus, plus on top of that, it's like <gasps> Ryan, you lost a life. Terrible at this oh, game. Oh. Awful. 
Oh, tr oh, oh no! May, may, I, I we'll, may as well just delete this video now. So oh, tr oh, trust me. I, I, I lost a life a long time ago, dude. When I was fighting Fox, he like, he, he uh, kicked me up. He sent me soaring to the moon. Awful, Ryan. Just awful. Terrible. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> awful and probably the most least relevant game in the entire series. Oh God damn it! <laughs> oh God. Oh, oh yeah! Don't you just love it when the when 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 you suck so much that even the polygon characters are able to take hold of your items, especially the invincibility star. That's great. God. Pikachu with what? a gun. <laughs> He's got a gun. That's a baby oh, with a gun. What it's like? <laughs> Pika's got a gun. However that song went, I don't know. Um. But, but what else I really like about, like, the w one thing I do like about, like, oh, the fighting, fighting the Polygon team or whatever, it's like, you would never, it's like, this is the only time you ever get to hear this, this, ver this theme or whatever. They don't, there, there have been, like, no remixes of this theme at all, like, in future games, like in Melee and Brawl or whatever. No, this is the only time you ever get to hear this meme, and it's like, this meme? Wait, no. <laughs> God. Fighting Polygon memes. All right, anyway. No, no, this is the only time you get to hear this theme, and it's like, it's like, even though this is the only time you get to hear this theme, it's actually a very underrated theme, in my opinion. Wow, that, that, that Polygon dude just, just felt the definition of taunt to get bodied. <laughs> yeah, really. Also, Ryan, you, you died again, what the heck? Yeah, I know. Uh-oh. Oh! oh. <laughs> it's, it's alright, Fort fortunately, it's like, they're able to blow themselves up. Also, I like how they aren't actually a team. They can hurt each other. Yeah, that that too. <laughs> it's like it's like well, that's kind of misleading, I guess. Yep, here oh, we boy. go. Yep, the yep. Oh my god, master hand. I remembered like this guy. This fucking hand would give me so many problems. And like that, I would have the hardest time taking this thing down. And now there's apparently thousands of them. Yes. Like, see, see, like I said, this was back, this was back at a time when, you know, these things were, like, were, like, killing everything. This is more, fam this is more violent, but also very family-friendly. Well, like, it this version of Master Hand, I would say, is probably one of the more difficult, if anything, because he's not as scripted as future, as, as future versions of him are. Oh, 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 no, oh, oh, yeah, no, no, oh, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not saying, like, anything about, like, Master Hand, you know in this game be like really bad or anything i would just say it's like compared to what, how we saw the master hand in like the world of light trailer or whatever it's like yeah he's tough but he was also more family friendly and more innocent in that way it never stooped to very dark levels like what we have seen in the world well, of no, light like, trailer what i'm saying is like he's like melee onwards all the master hand fights are pretty scripted like he always like you know he'll do a very generic attack and then return to the right side of the screen Whereas in this game, he can kind of just float wherever he wants to. He can even face yeah. left if he wants to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I will agree on that. Honestly, I think that's the probably the biggest reason why, as a kid, you know, I had the hardest time trying to trying to beat this guy because it's like you, it's like yeah, you probably get an idea on what moves that he'll try to throw at you, but you never know exactly what he's going to do. Unlike in other games, where yeah, you're absolutely right, he's more scripted than in this game. Didn't even take a hit. <laughs> I know. I I lose lives to the likes of Fox and the Polygons, but never would I take a hit from the creator himself, Master Hand. What what the hell? Speed King. <laughs> and then Pikachu died. <laughs> suddenly it became a suddenly it became a Toy Story scenario. Yeah, yeah, again, this was before trophies were even a thing. All the fighters were freaking dolls. Oh, but yeah, that was the, like, the main, like, big mode. The only classic mode or whatever. The only 1P mode in the original Super Smash Bros. game. Yeah. And, like, <laughs> it's one of those things where it's, like, classic mode in this game may not seem as what's the word i guess intuitive because it's with classic mode it was literally the same order with every character no matter what you played it was but, like yeah like you always started with link always ended with master hand and that's and it was the, the same order every time yeah yeah but like they definitely 
improved upon it in future games. Like, I know, like, in Melee, they made it a little more randomized. Same for Brawl. They completely fucked it up in Smash 4. <laughs> uh, yeah, sad, but true. But I'd be lying if I said I didn't play Classic Mode hundreds of times. <laughs> uh, yeah, that that is also true. <laughs> Oh, hey, four kids. Remember when they were a thing? Two. God, God yeah. It's Hell, like... just remember, yeah, it's like, you know, just remember when the credits used to be easy? <laughs> <laughs> the cursor would just stay in one spot, and you could just hit the A button as much times as you can. It wasn't like, like some first-person shooter or anything. Yeah. Oh, like... You know what? I, I miss, you know what? That's right. I miss that, too. Like, the, the unique art for each character whenever you beat classic mode. Like, and... Like, they, they kind of brought that back for Smash 4, but, like, it was more so like just a, a screenshot that anyone can recreate. I like I liked the, the unique art. Yeah, yeah, I yeah I did too, actually. Like, and I get it, it. There's, there's, like, there's so many characters now, it's gonna be a pain in the ass probably to make unique art for all of them, but it's like, I still miss it. Yeah, well, now, you, yeah. well, now, well, now each character has their own little movie. <laughs> Yeah, w w which in, in their own way, it's like, yeah, it's not like their own unique art or anything, but just yeah, getting like screenshot. their own little, like, very cute, and just getting their own little, very little cute, like, clip show or whatever, it was still very memorable. Yeah, it's like, you get a clip show and a screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which I'm sure literally anybody can uh, can create if they have the time. So I guess, that being said, though, yeah, we're done with the uh, first Super Smash Bros. game by the N64, but we're not done just yet. We're moving on! We're tackling melee. We'll see you guys then. <laughs>